It's the lucky last closing off all exotics and a sizable quartet pool. No doubt about that. Closing off local racing for the week. Race number eight, Phillies and Mares, 75 handicap distance is 1,200 meters. And uh, let's go to the reruns. We got Diamond Girl from the Dennis Dryer Stable, Princess Donnelly, a rerun as well. And then interviews with Mark Dixon and jockey Donovan Dillon twice as fast and then comes Mubera. Sophia Erin still leads it. Casa Rosad is on the inside. Diamond Girl's trying to get into the race and Baby Africa's also fighting on with Bajikli on the inside. Coming down the 200 though, Baby Africa and Diamond Girl's trying to close it down over the last 100 then Casa Rosad. But it's Baby Africa and Baby Africa has won it. Diamond Girl second, Casa Rosada third and Kylie's fate ran fourth. Side. Imba JJ, Miss Lila's trying to come forward towards the inside, Princess Donnelly, family favourite, give me a lullaby, they're all running on late on, 1.50 to go, Princess T still has a length to spare, Miss Lila's on the inside, Princess Donnelly's coming home late on, Princess T found the line, second Princess Donnelly, Miss Lila, and then came Crazy Blues. Yes, very, very good win last time. Keegan, Keegan gave him a lovely ride. I mean, she's got a lot of ability, this 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 filly, um, and she seems to run well for Keegan, and he knows her now as well. So you know, she's in her own company. So I, I think she's going to be a big runner again on the day. She's been a tricky customer. Um, her last run, she just never raised the gallop, and uh, she just never got into the race, and uh, it was a very puzzling effort from. Uh, with us, we, we, we couldn't understand what went wrong. Um, we're hoping up the straight, the 1200 meters on the grass, uh, where she actually ran one of her best races, first time out, second behind Mariah. We're hoping uh, if, sh if she can just put her best foot forward and, and bring her homework to the, to the race course. Um, she's, she's a top quality filly, but uh, she just needs to bring it to the, to the course. Yep, it is a tough race to close off the meeting. If you're running in the exotics thus far, place accumulator, jackpot two, the big six, the big one. You all smiles if you've got a few runners here and you load it up. Well, if you've got the field, then you're guaranteed of a payout. But how do we see it? Uh, it's a tough race, Paul. I mean, you, have you got a, a top four in the race? Have you narrowed down your selections? Or it, it looks hard, doesn't it? I thought Princess Donnelly ran a very good race to Princess Tia. Yes. Uh, Princess T or whatever it is. I, I, I think that ran, really ran on well. It had won the race before. It had placed in one game. So it's very consistent at the moment. And uh, it, it, could be, it could be a factor. I wanted to ask you a question, Dees. This number seven, Sweet Symphony, lightly raced twice over three runs. Why has it got an 86 mirror rating? You know, that's uh, for the handicappers to tell us more. If we hadn't interviewed them, they'll, t they'll tell us something. For uh, that, uh, for winning first time out was given an 84, then running third behind Maquette, who's a above average sort from the Duncan Al stable. We'll actually see Maquette take on uh, the runner that we like, Social Butterfly. And Maquette's got a rating of 90, Paul. So, you know, this horse was beaten by Maquette. So, uh, you know, it all depends on the line horse that they're using as well. You know, yeah. when you go to these races, you have it, a look it, at the it, line it, it gave gave a kilo and a half to Maquette. I know, I know, and was beaten in the 86, so what's Maquette's a, a 90, so two kgs inferior at this stage. But carrying 62 kgs, we'll have to give the field uh, weight all round this three-year-old filly. We'll see how good she is. She has to be respected. Diamond Girl, now, you know, she was beaten by Baby Africa last time out, and I'm taking nothing away from the winner because the winner actually skated away. But I think that she could be an ideal roving banker, yeah. Yeah, she honest. Consistent out the Yeah, maiden. consistent, you know. The, she, she ran well last time, just as you say, baby, Africa just destroyed them, you know. So I thought it was a good run. Uh, Mvula Zana from the Wendy Whitehead stable put in a good post maiden run as well. No, that's that's, that's what Philly I was impressed with. I, I like to look at the horses in the ring and that these now. I had a look at this horse when it won here. And I said, this is a beautiful big filly. I, I really wasn't pretty. I thought, now that's the type of horse I like to train. And so falling so, lanes, you, you've had success with the... Nothing. I bought three, two yeah. were mad, the other one ran, uh, not one won a race for me. Sure. Not one. 
I had three, so uh, you can't blame me for not trying. I, I loved the, 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 the stallion, I loved, them, I loved them, the racehorse, I should say. But these, no, I've had no luck with them. No luck whatsoever. Couldn't I have bought three verse and Gitterixes, his sure. mate? Sure. You know, I might sure. have had a chance. But listen, some people have been, and this is a beautiful filly. Beautiful filly. This is the filly I think they all got to beat. I just, you re reminded me, because I remember when she, when she walked into the winner's box, I said, wow, I like this filly. And Vuluzana in the yeah. looks department gets the thumbs up from Paul. We'll see how she is in the parade ring on Sunday. Kitten's Adventure, I think, would have needed that run. She has to be respected as well. Laugh briefly touched on Princess Donnelly. Others to look out for. Angel of Justice and Our Emily, along with Baby Africa and Ethiopian Queen. This horse, Our Emily, when she won a maiden, True. it's arguably the strongest. Race. Yes. Made in form line to follow in Gauteng. I'll give you the runners that have won from their ball because I've jotted them down. Angel of Justice, Miss Gibson, Poppy of Bayou, Faithful Mistress, Indo Marvel in Kobecha, subsequent winner Yatta. So that form line is good. And when she ran third behind Brunilda last time out, fought in that race was Princess Donnelly. And she was drawn none of none. That was a good post maiden run because Brunilda is quite interesting. Her form is very good, I Emily. Very good. And she's, she's shown quite early in her career that the ability is there. Yeah. yeah she's another one that joins the Lightly Race horses going forward, like um, Mvula Zana. Yeah, Mvula and Mvula Baby Zana. Africa, we touched on. We saw the replay as well. And then Ethiopian Queen, do not discount, because last time out, I know, well beaten by Lady Legend. I yeah. just feel she's she, better than that form. She's got form. She's, she's got, got form. form. I agree with you. So uh, the more you, you, you analyse it, the, the tougher it becomes. It does. It does, because... But you did sort of by saying a tough race. I, I, yeah, I, when I look at the form, it's, it's muddly. You know, yeah. These horses are facing each other for the first time. Some of them have raced against each other in the maiden ranks. There's form reversals as well. But when you have a look at it in black and white, it's very difficult to make a decision, especially for the bet like a place accumulator. Yeah. How do you structure it? How many horses do you put in the last? You, if you're you, going in this PA. You, put, you need horses, these. You need horses. I would say minimum three horses. Paul. Minimum, I, minimum. Yeah, it, it's a tough race. It's a bet that you want to try and catch as the quartet. Yeah, I think whatever the result in race number eight, you You'll will get, money. get a very handsome dividend. But uh, pleasure working with you, Paul. You know, with the show, we've given the guys two horses that we both like yeah. in uh, Crown Towers and Social Butterfly. And then I like your two horses as value as well, Global yeah. Secrets and Glaring Gary. I know he's had many chances, but I'm hoping that you can have a wonderful afternoon. Yeah, we'll, we'll be working together. We'll have some fun. Yeah, a tough race to close off the meeting and uh, race number eight to load up. We made a case for a few of the runners, but if you're racing at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday, hope you have a tremendous afternoon where we're honoring an absolute legend in Michael Roberts. The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need, to, uh, I need to get studying again to, to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's, uh, it's really, it's, uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.